Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I know you all are gonna love this one because this is a, a, pr a big problem that a lot of gardeners have around this time of year. And it has to do with uh, your tomatoes being mysteriously defoliated. And we get this email a ton from a lot of beginning gardeners. A lot of veteran gardeners already know where I'm going with this one. But when it comes to tomatoes and in some cases even peppers, you'll notice that overnight it seems like something ate all of the leaves. Well, that something is the tomato hornworm. I just picked this one off the plant here. Um, and uh, God, these things are disgusting. I absolutely hate them, even though they are actually the, uh, the larva of a, a hawk moth or a, a hawk, yeah, a hawk moth. I was gonna say hawk moth butterfly, but you, that's impossible. You can't have a moth and a butterfly. <laughs> they are the larva of the hawk moth. And it's a very stunning caterpillar. However, I don't like them in the garden. And there's a few things that you can do, and that's what we're gonna talk about in this episode, to prevent the, uh, the tomato hornworm. Now, a lot of people think they're really beautiful. They'll let them stay in their garden. The problem is, if you let it stay in your garden, we'll come back to you later. Um, if you let them stay in your garden, they can decimate a garden in a matter of a couple days. In fact, we had a few plants where we left and kind of just forgot about the plants and came back and almost a third of the plant had been eaten. Now it will heal, but it puts unnecessary stress on the plant, especially when it's hot, especially when it's dry, and especially when you want some tomatoes to ripen. And in some cases, the suckers even ate my, ate my tomatoes, which happens from time to time. So um, it is definitely something that I really want to, uh, to eliminate in the garden, if at all possible. So uh, first step, is uh, picking off, just kind of doing what I did here. Um, if, you, if you don't have that many of them or you're not noticing a whole lot of damage on your plants, uh, most likely you only have like one or two. In our case, we had five, <laughs> five of these nasty things. And, um, and so what we did is we just went through, we picked off a couple for an example, but the rest we exterminated. Um, but another way that you can uh, handle them, and there's actually three methods that I'm going to give you. Uh, the first one's picking off. Not a lot of people love that because uh, they're, they're huge and they're gross and they're just, they're massive caterpillars. Um, but the second method is by using something called BT. That's Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis. And uh, what it does is it actually is a bacteria that when you spray it on the plant, once it's ingested by the, by the caterpillar, it only affects chewing caterpillars. It does not affect anything else. So this will even work on peaches or cherry trees or, or even uh, like actual uh, deciduous trees um, if you have tent caterpillars. Tent caterpillars it'll work on. Uh, we use it for tomato hornworms, um, a lot of different things like that. Uh, even cabbage moths, the little cabbage loopers that make all those nasty holes in your cabbage plants and, and your kale plants and things like that. It'll take care of them. We've already done a video on that, but uh, they will also take care of the tomato hornworm. And that's why I'm including that as the second option. And the third option is something that we really like to implement here, which is to, uh, to feed birds. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in that tree, our neighbor is a super big fan of feeding birds. And, uh, and we love that. We absolutely love the fact that she feeds birds. We also have some bird feeders as well on our property um, in the front of our yard. And the thing is, is that when you have a ton of birds on your property, many of those birds will seek out grubs, caterpillars, and, and other larvae and things like that. We've noticed a really strong bird presence this year in our garden. Now, obviously not strong enough to take care of all, the, all of the, the tomato hornworms, but the fact of the matter is that many birds like finches and, uh, and blue jays, as well as uh, uh, blackbirds and uh, red winged blackbirds love, absolutely love tomato hornworms. So one of the things that we've done is, uh, is just encourage birds to come onto the property. You can do this by having uh, bird baths that will also help them from pecking holes in your tomatoes, but also having birds on the property by you know, feeding with food. They will go to the food 
but then as they're flying by, they have extremely great eyesight and they will pick out those, those grubs and those larvae as they're flying through or if they're kind of just stopping to kind of see what the garden's all about and they will find those, uh, those grubs and those larvae. And that's a great organic option to taking care of your tomato hornworms without having to do a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of effort. It's just a, a, it's just a way to prevent it. Um, now, if you do have it, obviously the BT and, uh, and the, the hand picking is also a great option for you. So, uh, so there's your three. And one of the nice things about hand picking these huge suckers off is that if you hand pick, you can actually feed them to your chickens if you have them. So we don't have chickens as of yet, but um, if we did, these make an excellent snack. So uh, if you hand pick, don't forget to uh, put them to good use. And then add more in insult to injury here. Uh, <laughs> you can actually take the, uh, the chicken manure and use it to fertilize your tomatoes. That'll really show the tomato hornworms what's up. So uh, anyways, so there you go. There is uh, three really simple methods to, uh, to implement in your garden to prevent the tomato hornworm or, or get rid of them. And, uh, and I just wanted to show you in closing kind of what the damage looks like and some signs to tell if you have tomato hornworms because I think it's really important to be able to spot the symptoms early on before it gets as bad as it has for us. All right, let's go check it out. So the first way to tell that you have tomato hornworms is by looking at the top foliage and noticing that the top is all defoliated here and you can see that it's been completely stripped of all of its leaves. Same thing with this plant over here. Um, and that's because the tomato hornworm will choose the top leaves because they're the most tender and, uh, and they have the, the easiest chance of being chewed through. Some of the tougher lower leaves are, are quite difficult to get through and so you'll find that they go to the, to the newest ones first. Now where you'll find a lot of your tomato hornworms is on the undersides of the leaf here because of the fact that they're green they blend right in i mean they almost blend in perfectly you hardly even notice them sometimes you'll actually just grab them on accidents just the scariest thing ever when you grab a tomato hornworm because it thrashes all around but um it'll be hiding underneath the leaf and it'll blend right in now the best way to tell that you have tomato hornworm besides some of the defoliation which is really obvious is to look at some of the the, you know, the, either the surrounding plant here, um, or sometimes it'll drop on the leaves, sometimes it'll even drop onto the fruit. Here I have, I do have some droppings here. You can see those little, those little uh, droppings there on the fruit, as well as um, down here, you'll notice really, really great, ew, gross, that was a little soft. <laughs> um, but you'll notice these little green pellets here and they're all around the base. Keep an eye out for this, or like I said, kind of on the, the plant itself, and that is the droppings of the tomato hornworm, and that is a clear sign that you have them. Uh, nothing else makes those green pellets, so if you have them around your plant, chances are it's a young one and it has not yet taken hold if you don't see the defoliation, but usually you'll see both the pellets and the defoliation all at once, and they get big quick. Um, tomato hornworms can double in size in just a day and that and they double in size every single day because they eat a ton so make sure you catch them early and check your plants often um, and that's that's uh, how you can tell that you have the tomato hornworm there all right so there you go hopefully you all enjoyed this uh this episode on how to prevent and tell if you have tomato hornworms hopefully you all enjoyed Hopefully you learned something new. Remember to click that like button. It really does help send, uh, send this video to more people. YouTube loves to see you engaging with our videos. That's what they wanna see nowadays. They wanna see you uh, liking and commenting on our videos. And that tells them that it's a good engaging video to send around to other people. So the more you can help us out, the more you can help our channel grow, help amazing information like this reach people that could definitely use it. And also another great way to help is if you have a friend that is growing some tomatoes, send them a link to this video. They might not know about it yet. Or you know, if they've been talking about tomato hornworms and they're not sure how to get rid of them, send them a link to this video. I would love to help out as many gardeners as possible. This is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch y'all later. See ya, bye.